good morning and welcome to day six of our seven night Eastern Caribbean cruise here on the Disney Fantasy. Well, as I said, it is day six here, our last at sea day. I'm sitting out here on the balcony just watching everything. If you're new around here, I'm Bryson. My wife, Crystal, she's at the gym right now, but you'll see her. And we are on a seven night Eastern Caribbean cruise here on the Disney Fantasy for my birthday. Can't tell, it's a little foggy. Camera's still kind of fogging a little bit on my fog detector. That's what I use my lens as. All right, fog detector has been cleaned. But yeah, today we are at sea, as I said. Just sitting here on the balcony, enjoying the morning. Uh, I slept in today. Usually I get up about 6, 6.30. Today I got up at like 7.45, which that's sleeping in. That's a lot of sleeping in for me. I was really tired after our day yesterday at Megan's Bay Beach and the day before at Tortola. The sun just took it out of me, man. I was tired. So Crystal wanted to do a class they had in the gym today. So she got up, went to that at 8 a.m., um, when she gets done with that, she asked me to wait for her to go to breakfast at Cabana's. She's not a breakfast person, but she enjoys a few items on that buffet enough that she wants to eat breakfast. So just making sure I wait for her because that's what she asked. So no problem doing that at all. I didn't get the continental breakfast this morning. No need for it. We're at sea today, obviously. So just going to kind of see what the day brings. I got my swim trunks on just in case. Not sure if she's going to want to go to the pool. I think she got enough sun yesterday. She was quite sunburned last night when we were going to bed. So we'll see though. It's up to her. She wants to go to the pool, we'll go to the pool. No problem. I know we're going to play bingo because today is the final jackpot of bingo. And the final jackpot is like almost four grand. Wild. I have never seen one that high. So I, And yesterday when we played bingo, I've never seen that many people split the winning jackpots. Like, or whatever they are, the winning, the pot, whatever it is. But I've never seen that many. There was like eight people in one. It was nuts. And boy, we ain't wearing none of them. So we're just donating. That's all we're doing, which is fine. It's still fun. But yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to stay here on the balcony. Okay? I'm going to stay here on the balcony. I'm going to enjoy this wide open ocean. I'm going to show you like 10 seconds of it. So you're going to have like a 10 second B-roll clip of just the ocean. So if you don't want to see just the ocean, go get like a drink of water, some coffee, whatever. But be back. Okay, be back. Because then our day is going to start. All right, here we go. So we're up here at Cabana's for breakfast. And we are sitting at the literal back of the ship. So we are in the farthest table outside in the back. It's really humid out today, but it's just beautiful. So you can see the wake behind us. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry that my plate is mostly eaten. I know that's disgusting, but I had to talk about the churro Mickey waffle. That's what they have this morning. Not regular Mickey waffles, churro Mickey waffles. You can see that they appear to be deep fried with cinnamon and sugar. They're pretty good. I'm a purist, but Bryson loves them. So I have called this spot my hidden spot. I found it yesterday. So Crystal and I after breakfast went and got a Cove Cafe. And right outside Cove Cafe, there is the towels where you can get your towels, where they make the like uh, special towel animals that they put out all day. Like today it's a family of giraffes. I'll show you that here in a little bit. But anyway, right behind it, there is two wicker chairs. And there's hardly ever anyone in here. And the adult area on this cruise is the most packed adult area I have seen on any cruise I've ever been on. Crystal goes to the gym at 7 a.m. And there is already like 90% of the chairs gone because people claim them. Same people. Same people every day. It's nuts. They know exactly their schedule and they stick to it. I mean, they are way more seasoned veteran cruisers than us. That is for sure. But yeah, so we just sit here. Crystal's reading her book. I'm drinking my coffee and just relaxing and looking at the ocean. Every day there's been cute little towel animals right here in the adults only area. Look how cute they are. I've got a little. Uh, I think this is a dragonfly and a crab and a giraffe. I don't know what that is. It looks like Baby Yoda. Snake and a giraffe. All right, so we are hanging out on deck 11 here. We got Raya, 
up on Funnel Vision, and Crystal is going to do the aqueduct. So we're going to hang out and watch her do the aqueduct. There she is. She made it out. She's cruising. I just rode the aqueduct for the first time. It's so much fun. And I could go by myself because it's not windy. Um, it's really fun. You kind of go quick at some points. I don't know. It's fun. Look at that cargo ship. That's the first cargo ship I've seen in the middle of the ocean. He's a big one. He, I guess he's probably going to one of the Caribbean islands. It looks a lot hazier on the screen than it is in real life. I mean, it's pretty hazy over that way. It like looks like it's raining over there, but it appears that we're kind of like skirting the rain. I'm sure he's doing that on purpose. And then over there though, it's pretty blue skies. And that's where we're going. So I think what we're gonna do is um, hang out here for like 15 minutes. I'm gonna read my book. And then after that, um, I think we're gonna go to Chip at Golf and then maybe some trivia and go to the pool and then bingo's at 315. So I think that's kind of the game plan. We shall see. So when we got back to the room, there was a daytime towel animal. He made us a sea lion with crystal sunglasses out of our blanket that's usually right here on the end of the bed. But also, it's kind of sad because this is like the first hint the cruise is coming to an end in a few days. But these are your gratuity envelopes right here. So you have your server, your head server, your assistant server, and your room host slash hostess. So these are the envelopes where you put their gratuities. On this side, well on this side is the letter explaining what gratuities are and everything. Basically, they've charged you $13.50 per day per guest in the stateroom for gratuities. And then that gets split up however their percentages work amongst the envelopes. So then on the other side is the actual like gratuity card, which you can tear off and put in here. And it tells you how much that person's getting worth of tip, right? I know this is like a big question on all the Facebook groups is how to handle gratuity. And it's kind of a lame answer, but my answer to you is someone who worked... I mean, I work 10 years in the service industry. Gratuity is always up to you, and you can base it off of the service you got. They're getting that $13.50 per day uh, per person split up however, no matter what. But like Crystal and I, if we've been given good, or I mean, we've been given great service this cruise, I can't lie. Our serving staff has been excellent. Rafaela and Alvin, I mean, they've gone completely above and beyond what I would expect. So we're going to leave them, I mean, we're going to leave everybody some extra cash, but our service team especially, they they made this cruise so wonderful for us. So I always bring extra cash just to stick in the envelope on top of what's on the card here. But that's up to you. Like, I mean, our stateroom attendant has done a wonderful job with towel animals like this, keeping our room clean. I mean, he's very prompt with getting our room clean. An extra pillow he brought me that I asked for this morning already. So, I mean, he's done a, a great job, a great job. Well, I mean, we, so like I said, we leave extra on top of what's on the cart, but that's Crystal and I. So you do whatever you want to do. If you feel like the card's enough, you can go right ahead. And also, if you don't have cash, you don't have to worry about it. You can take this letter down to guest services and tell them what you want to add to each one of these people and they'll do it. I've done that before. So no problem, no issues whatsoever, but that's just a little basis of the gratuities and how they work. In a nutshell, it's up to you. If you're happy with just what's on this card, do it. No problem. And if you forget to give them the card, don't worry about it. It's already charged to your stateroom. They're already getting it. Not a problem. So there's gratuities. We have made it down here for Chip It Golf. We might have missed sign up. That's okay if we miss sign up. It's just fun to watch. Kevin played yesterday. And Kevin gave me dead last. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I live in the 50, but he came today and he was showing the wall. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a good one. We have Dr. Strange hanging out watching Chip at Golf from Deck 5. Crystal just spotted him. And in true Crystal fashion, she found her way to deck five. 
so she can get a picture with Doctor Strange. I'm very curious what they're talking about. <laughs> she just saw her first Doctor Strange movie the other night. Okay, so I went and met Doctor Strange, and if you guys know, you know that Bryson is the Marvel Star Wars guy. I am not. But I felt pretty good about my conversation with him. We talked about the film, and we talked about the end, and we talked about what's coming for him, and I thought I was pretty knowledgeable for someone who doesn't know a whole lot. So we are going to test ourselves here at La Piazza, which is the carousel bar here in Europa on the aft of the ship on deck four. We have not done anything in this room. It's like the one room we haven't done anything in. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, it's a literal carousel. It doesn't turn though. Boy, that could get tricky at the end of the night after a few drinks if the carousel actually moved. But the seats are saddles. Oh yeah. The seats are saddles. That's pretty awesome. It's a pencil! Woo! Everyone got the team name! Woo! Alright, and everyone has a positive attitude. Like Simba and not Scar, right? Okay, let's get started. Number one. Over which eye is Scar's scar? Over which eye is Scar's scar? Okay, number two. Who hit Simba on the head with a stick? Number two. Who hit Simba on the head with a stick? <laughs> Alright, if you have five or more great. Give me deception. Deception. Okay, if you have eight or more correct, say the circle of life. The circle of life. All right, if you have 15 or more correct, make some noise. Woo! We're going to get serious now. If you have 17 or more correct, make some noise. Woo! 19. Woo! So I got the whole room in. 20. Woo! 21. Woo! Yeah. yeah. We got 25 back there. Does anyone else have 25 in the room? Okay, that calls for a tiebreaker. The Lion King on Broadway celebrated the milestone of how many performances? On June 5th, 2019, the Lion King on Broadway celebrated the milestone of how many performances? Y'all, we got 25 out of 25 at Lion King Trivia. And then we lost in the tiebreaker. <laughs> Because the question was, how many performances on this certain date was Lion King on Broadway celebrating? And I caved to outside pressure. <laughs> oh well, we didn't get their Ice Krispie Treat prizes, but there'll be more trivia to come. So something I love that the bigger ships have in addition to Cove Cafe is Vista Cafe, which is just above the atrium on deck four. So awesome. You can get the same little snacks they have there included, plus they got coffee. So I can sit here and eat my cranberry bars and drink my cold brew while Crystal gets her photo with Captain Mickey. So we're here in the D Lounge for the Anyone Can Cook cooking class. And this is a huge deal. This is one of the first ones that they've had since everything restarted with cruising. So this is a pretty big deal. I mean, the D Lounge is full. We got here 15 minutes ago. There was two tables left. Now everybody's kind of just filling into the chairs. But just so you know, if you're on a cruise and they do one of these Anyone Can Cook classes, get here early because it fills up quick. And now we're going to learn how to make some apple strudel. Strudel! Now who thinks that they can cook? I know oh, I quite a lot of you. Okay, we've got some aspiring chefs in here, but I would like to welcome to the stage the chef that knows everything about making apple strudel. Everyone, please give it up for Vivek. Uh, find out if anybody has any allergy, please refrain from crying because there's everything gluten, nuts, soy, dairy. So please, I'm sorry about that one, right? But on a good way, please do not cry. Yeah, but other than that, we are good to go. And uh, yeah, that demo will take me, as I say, 45 minutes. And normally, when we work in the base, we will have all the machinery, right? This is just a satellite base that we set up. So, whatever I'll be doing in front of you, at the end of my demo, I will trash you. Okay, we did the Anyone Can Cook, the strudel. And I guess I need some tablecloths because I've never seen that, but I'm not a chef, so. 
He did some nifty little tricks there. I have to try them out. She's going to make strudel on Sunday. She's not. She's making strudel. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> we have made it in line for the final bingo. We are the fourth people in line. So we are guaranteed a spot. Let's do this. There he is. What's up, Pluto? <laughs> there he is. What's up, Pluto? All right, guys. We are here in the Buena Vista Theater for the final game of bingo. No one has won the jackpot yet. Four grand. Four grand. Somebody has to walk off this ship today, this bingo session, with the jackpot. So... They've moved us from the D lounge into the Buena Vista Theater. The most uncomfortable chairs on the ship. They like move. They move yeah. and I don't know. I'm really glad we didn't have to watch Doctor Strange in here. Um, <laughs> First so, time we've been in any of the Buena Vista theaters on any of the ships. Yeah, we've never been in a theater in any of the ships. We're here for bingo and uncomfortable chairs or not, we're sitting here for the next hour. I play in bingo this cruise. Well, where have you been? <laughs> Just kidding, welcome everyone. Now those of you that have not met me yet, my name is Tori and I've been the bingo caller all cruise long and we are joined in the room by a few members of the entertainment. I've got a tablet and I want to bingo on. Looks so dapper, Goofy. Hey, cold thing. <laughs> yeah, you dusted it off tonight. Yeah. That's good. You look very nice. <laughs> As you saw, I ran into Goofy with his formal attire on, looking awesome. That's where Crystal is actually right now because Mickey and Minnie are in their formal attire again. So she's going and grabbing that picture because she did not get it the other night. So she's doing that. <sighs> we didn't win a bingo, guys. Seventy-five hundred dollars. That was the jackpot. But five families won it. Five. It's over $1,000 easily that each family's taken home. That's so awesome. So cool. If I can't win it, I'm glad they could. Anyway, awesome time at bingo on the every cruise. I just, I love playing bingo. I don't know why. Just the interaction, I guess. It's just a great time to just be there with everyone shouting and screaming. But back in the room, going to get ready for tonight. We have Frozen tonight and dinner at Enchanted Garden. So... We will see you all when we're heading to Frozen. So we have made our way to the Walt Disney Theater for tonight's show of Frozen. As you know, we cannot film the show at all, so we'll let you know how awesome it is at the end, because it is awesome, because we've seen it. Well, Frozen was as good as it always is. Love that show, so, so good. Right now, we're gonna go try Miguel O'Gill's, see if we can do some TV Tunes trivia. Not getting our hopes up, that place fills up so quick. Otherwise, we're going to wander the ship and see what we can find to do. Guys, we made it in O'Gill's for trivia. This is only the second time we've made it, and we're actually in the exact same spot that we were last time. So, I guess it's fate. Um, this is actually, it's a really cool bar. It's just really small. So, the fact that they hold, like, all, like, the really popular trivias here is kind of weird. But we made it. We got the last table, so can't complain about that. We won! We won trivia! We won TV Tunes trivia, you guys. We missed the bananas and pajamas, but we got the A-Team Baywatch. We were one of the only people to get Baywatch. I thank my dad for that. Um, but we won, so very exciting. We are very excited. And we won this bag, and we won stickers and Rice Krispie treats and playing cards. So. Hi, Oscar! How are you doing? Good, how are you? Remind me, you're on 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53. 53
and we already looked at the menu. Um, I'll show it to you here in just a minute, but there are some really great things on there that I cannot wait to try, including the mushroom soup and a few other things. So we will show you that in just a few minutes. So tonight we have a mint yogurt dipping sauce with a fig and date ciabatta roll. So tonight's menu, like I said, is very different than what we've had before. And we already got the recommendations from the server and he, Alvin recommended the Enchanted Garden Platter, which is like a charcuterie board. He also recommended the garlic and parsley sauteed shrimp with jambalaya rice. And then the wild mushroom soup, as well as the pancetta salad. And then over on the main courses, he recommended the oven roasted tom turkey breast, which is the Thanksgiving dinner, which comes with mashed potatoes, stuffing, gravy, and relish. And then also the New York strip, which comes with truffle layer potatoes, honey parsnips, buttered spinach, and pepper sauce on the side, which sounds absolutely delicious. I also wanted to point out the chicken pita salad, which looks really good, and that's on the lighter side menu. And it comes with a lemon marinated roasted, chick roasted chicken breast with tomatoes, cucumbers, chickpeas, mint, feta, and tossed in a lemon dressing. So the menu looks really good tonight. Can't wait to try it. So for an appetizer this evening, I went with the jambalaya rice with the garlic marinated shrimp and enchanted garden platter, which is a their version of a charcuterie board. Love a good charcuterie board. So I apologize. I already started eating it but I got the mushroom soup tonight and it is absolutely delicious. I love mushroom soup. It is one of my favorite things to eat in this entire world. And it's, this is really good mushroom soups, very like strong mushroom flavor. Obviously it's mushroom soup. So I don't know why, if you don't like mushrooms, I, you, you should not order this obviously, but it is absolutely delicious. hundred percent recommend. So I got the field greens, which has tomato, candied walnuts, apples, and then blue cheese. It looks so delicious. And also I just want to say my soup was so good that I ordered another one. So this is a really delicious, fresh menu. So Bryson and I both got the strip steak, which comes with truffle potatoes and spinach and then um, also some little fingerling potatoes and then Bryson also got the Thanksgiving dinner which like I said earlier comes with stuffing and potatoes and green beans the whole works Horse Berry Sunday open Ta -da! <laughs> all right so we don't even like mention dessert anymore it just happens this is the sugar-free tiramisu that is the chocolate torte strawberries and cream tower forest berry sundae, white chocolate bread pudding, and creme brulee cheesecake over there. Wow. This is uh, the one I'm excited for. Let's dig in. All right, I'm gonna talk about my review and then I think Bryson's review is gonna be a little bit different. Pass, that tastes really like gummy. I don't know how else to describe it, it's gummy. That tastes like air. The bread pudding is really good. I actually like the sundae, which is surprising because I don't like sundaes. I didn't try that. And I don't like the texture of the tiramisu. So I'm just going to go for the bread pudding. Didn't try the cheesecake. The sundae is very good. Haven't tried the bread pudding. I believe that tastes like vanilla, like whipped cream. That's all I taste. So I don't think it tastes like nothing. It has some kind of taste. Super rich chocolate if you like chocolate. And the tiramisu, I thought was amazing. For a sugar-free dessert, it's pretty darn good. You could never convince me that it was sugar-free. I get why Crystal doesn't like the texture, but basing this solely off of the fact that it's sugar-free, I would get it again. Shots of espresso. You go, oh, no, Stitch. No. You go. <laughs> Can we take a picture real quick, Stitch? Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, wait, do it again. Pull it again. Can you do it again? Thank you, Stitch. Thank you. Okay, Crystal says that I have to film as I walk in here. Oh, man. What do we have here? Let's see here. We got little baby duckies it's for my celebration because i'm celebrating my birthday 
What's the card say? Oh my gosh. This is from our stateroom attendant. He got me a birthday card. Also. He got me he got you a face. bunch of chocolates. And then cool. we got postcards. Postcards. Well, you got birthday All the cake. soaps. We got a lot of chocolate. Got a got a blanket heart. We got a penguin up there on the pillows. Birthday cake. Birthday cake. And a swan. And he made a swan out of Crystal's blanket. That's pretty cool. Wow. This is epic. I don't know what stateroom attendant's gonna beat this. That penguin's really cute. Whew, he did a good job. Now I see why Crystal said I had to film it as soon as I walked in. All right. I'm I'm speechless. This is like really cool. Crystal signing up. She's gonna take a picture now. <laughs> wow, speechless. All right. Well, that is gonna do it for today. After seeing that awesome towel animal set up on the bed, I just I don't know how to top that. That was. Pretty darn awesome right there. But with that said, we are going to wrap up our last at sea day. Tomorrow is Castaway Key. And it's our last day. Tomorrow's our last full day. So sad. So sad. So sad. But all good things have to come to an end, right? Oh, well. That's still a whole nother day away. We don't need to talk about that. So anyway, hit that subscribe button. Click that like button if you like this video. Click that bell icon so you're notified of any new videos we put out. But most of all, for the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse. We only need